You can also refresh and see. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, seven o'clock Nigeria time, two p.m. Lagos time. So it's time to start off our episode uh, five of series two point zero. And those that can see our screen, I want to say thank you so much for joining us and it's been a long journey, and you are well appreciated uh, uh, for joining us. Uh, so this is the program that we are running with. I will just give the opening remark. Then we'll take some experience sharing from collaborators and some members of our advisory board. I think I saw one just now. So simply as Sungu, yeah. Uh, so we're not here. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, we take some um, sharing from collaborators. I uh, have a, a colleague of ours who are working on a project. Then there's Jonas too, here with us here. He will give his own insight and also some other collaborators and uh, advisory board members, particularly also Frank Lisk. And since Simplis is here, we can also, it's not always, it's always very re rejoicing and refreshing to hear from Professor Simplis as well. Simplis, thank you so much for joining us. Okay. And I will take some few Q and A. There are, there are. And afterwards, we we'll take some experience sharing from our outing in Ghana and Ethiopia, some of our African Scholars Mentorship Network, ASMN, as main for short. And I will take some testimonials afterwards. Then we'll look at plan, you know, plans ahead, the workshop we are planning, and other events uh, laid out for 2024. And then we'll take some. Um, and A again to end it, then we present certificate to those who met the requirement as at 22nd of November 2024. And I appreciate it. Okay, so uh, I will take my welcome remark right away, and uh, here we go. So basically, this is the 2.0 milestone. We started since, uh, since uh, 24th of. So the 4th of uh, September 2023, uh, where we had the episode one, and we'll keep the exercise and the link to the YouTube uh, on there, on this link, the link that will take you to YouTube on the exercise page. And after what we had this episode two, which is a practical insight on grant uh, winning and execution, 8th of uh, October. And then we had the exercise on it, also the YouTube, it's also on YouTube through this link. Then uh, so Frey, we had inside that perspective on publishing a reputable athlete with and that was uh, 22nd of uh, October. And then episode four, which we had the uh, last two weeks on collaboration and partnership in building a uh, successful career. We had, I uh, guess, Homer Wogo joining us and all the sessions also recorded on YouTube. But it's, so today is the grand finale, the grand finale of this, uh, Series 2.0 and on networking and experience sharing, then we'll conclude. And uh, you always check, so any of our events, uh, if you go to our event page, you see that. Okay, so welcome you so much and uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we don't take your pleasure for granted. Uh, just to also welcome us, as, as we'll see later on from this uh, experience sharing, it was great um, heartwarming to see some of our. African Scholars Mentorship Network members in my SAP policy conference just last week here. The week, the week, the week that just ended in, in Ghana. And you can see this is me at the center, uh, flanked by our able uh, mentors, men, uh, members of the network. So this is uh, Soji from Unila, uh, U, U, Badan. This is uh, Colinus from uh, Unilag. Then this is uh, um, Kasala from uh, Liberia, that is a BC from Nigeria. There is a uh, Madam Brenda Lane from Cameroon. And this is uh, Abdul from Gombe, Nigeria. This is uh, Marvelous Ngudu from uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, and also uh, from uh, Zimbabwe. This is Romanus, Nigerian, but currently doing his postdoc in Malaysia. And this is uh, Betty from Ghana. So it was a great. A uh, refreshing moment for me to see some of many of them I've not seen before, but it was a great time to see them 
physically the event. Then while we are doing that in Ghana, another team was in the Ethiopia. This uh, Karakara a Ghanaian at the they were at the conference from conference on life policy in Africa, uh, organized by United Nations, UNECA and um, African Development Bank and African Union Commission. And this uh, uh, Dr. Konjit, an Ethiopian who was there to receive them graciously, and this is uh, Solomon Okwade from Nigeria. So basically, it's a week fee with uh, such a fresh moment from African Scholars Foundation Network. So for me, this is the kind of testimonial that the network is actually doing working and delivering some of our milestone. We appreciate that certainly. Okay. Now, I will stop here. I will come back later on, on the plot ahead. So we start wasting time now. I will uh, take the next item on agenda, which is experience sharing from our uh, collaborators and advisory board members. Uh, right with us here is uh, uh, Daniel Zinesh too. I will share his screen right away, and it takes us up um, uh, shortly. So let me share his screen. Uh, share his screen. Okay, I think the screen is up. Let's confirm if it's up. If it's, yes. So, Daniel, you have the floor right away. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hello. Uh, thank you, Brian, for, uh, for having me this evening. I'm delighted to uh, talk to all about uh, some of my own experiences about uh, research in, in economics and uh, collaboration in, in economics. And introduce myself, my name is Daniel. I'm uh, a PhD student at the University of Chicago. Uh, I'm in my fourth year at the moment. I did some work on public economics, and nowadays, all of my research is in uh, Nigeria on uh, developed economics. And uh, so, for me, uh, you know, the first question you might ask is like, okay, why collaborate in, in, in research? And uh, so I think one of the great joys about doing, doing research for me is uh, that you get to experience something new. You get to challenge uh, existing ideas, discover new facts, uh, discover new theories. Um, and so part of this is to challenge your own ideas as well. Um, and I think the best way to start doing this is when you uh, do that as the ideas come along. And the best way to do that is like if you just work with other people uh, that challenge your ideas and, and you know, uh, question if whatever you propose to do may actually be the best thing to do. Maybe they have better ideas. Uh, and so this discourse that already comes along in, when, when we're working together and uh, collaborating is, I think, one of the best ways to, to achieve that. And it's much better to, you know, work in a team, challenge your ideas, than sitting there on your own and like, maybe getting lost. In, in, in. Uh, the second aspect is that you know, collaborating is warm, really. Many top papers are written by now, so I don't think there's any benefit really of other conversations. They're just much more efficient in delegating work. I'm not able to move the easy team. You can divide workload and we can work on what what we are making. Also, learn from the team as well, which I think is one of the other great joys in the research. It's like you constantly learn new things, and the best way to start learning new things again is when you work with the um, so let me share a little bit about my own uh, experiences. So as I said at the beginning, uh, my research nowadays is in uh, Nigeria. I have two projects uh, I'm working on, but you know, by no means I consider myself an expert on Nigeria, on Nigerian culture, uh, economic environment, institutions. And so 
uh, my research really would not be feasible without collaborating and uh, talking to people who are experts. And so for me, really, you know, uh, these discussions about uh, what makes sense about NPS is what makes my research feasible uh, in the first place. So let me give you one more concrete uh, example. So uh, in one of the projects that I had, I had the idea of estimating some some causal effects, uh, causal impact of joining a church. And so we were so connected, and I was a bit lucky, we got connected to the first of the and so my current research is fine. Uh, and so the current research design that I'm working on right now really came along uh, from from these discussions. And without these discussions, uh, it, it it really wouldn't would not have been feasible. Uh, and so I I was a bit lucky that over uh, some connections I got got connected to Professor Otto Boyan, but how you should apply this to, to your own um, uh, case is that, you know, whenever you have some connections, you should seek them out, really, and try to to utilize your connections to, you know, get connected to people that you think are maybe interesting to work with, or you share some interest in, or, you know, you would be happy to talk about research. But if that is not the case, or if the person that you know you initially think may be interesting to work with is actually not that interesting, uh, what what to do is like you know, cold email people or cold call people. And uh, let me let me share some 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 thoughts on this of like you know what is the best way to to approach people um, when you don't know them. Uh, so I think it's usually good to have. Uh, the idea of like what you want to study, but also some idea of like how you're going to approach your question or your research. That makes it just much more concrete and credible in the first place. We all have great ideas about like, you know, what would be interesting to study, but most of these what questions are interesting, are not interesting with at least some idea about the how. And so when you reach out to people, it's, I think, in my experience, very important to uh, at least have some idea about how you're going to approach uh, the question. Usually this will change and hopefully this will change a lot, but it's, it, it lends your much more credibility when you, when you have that in the first place. The second important aspect I think is that uh, most people are very happy when uh, they are being approached. Think about yourself. If someone would come to you with an interesting idea and said, "Hey, what do you think about this? Maybe there's room uh, we can explore to, you know, to work on on something together," you would be delighted, wouldn't you? And so I think most people um, most people think that way. Um, another aspect is that I think uh, is important is that I would really encourage you to to rethink whom you can collaborate with. Surely, people in your department, in your academic program, uh, your university. But also, uh, you, can, you can collaborate with uh, other institutions, uh, with firms, with small businesses. All these you know, generate some data in some sense, and in some case, and uh, there may be mutual interest that you, know, you may be able to get some data, you may be able to do something for them. Um, and so I really think it's important to rethink uh, and expand uh, who you think you, know, you can collaborate with. Uh, one example from from my case again, I you know am in discussion with a Nigerian uh, online job market platform where employers can advertise their jobs um, to hire new people uh, to do some research. And so um, I again I'm not working on this alone. I have two collaborators, uh, and we were discussing uh, for a while you know how we can best pitch our idea to them. Um, what may be in for them, you know, how we can frame it. Uh, and in the end, we had a meeting and, you know, this, this platform, this, this organization was super interested to collaborate. They were already doing some research. They were interesting uh, and interested in exploring new ideas. And while surely 
it doesn't have to be that way. Maybe you know some organizations or firms would need some more persuasion. Um, usually, uh, it's always worth to you know to reach out and and give it a shot. Um, and so these are some thoughts and uh, uh, ideas about collaboration, um, whom you can collaborate with, how to do it. Um, and thank you all for, for your time. And again, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for hosting me this evening. Yeah, thank you so much, Dan. We appreciate so much. Uh, just to focus on the other uh, program, uh, please, we are not presenting. Just, uh, you know, please put up your video. Thanks so much for showing your face, but we've seen it. Put up your videos. Get out of please. You can put off your videos if you're not presenting so that it does not um, reduce the size of our slide. Get out of Kindly put off your video, please. Uh, we're going to create. Uh, now, I think I saw Professor Simply Sasong in the house. Asongu. Please, are you there, Prasugu? Yes, I can see you. Yeah, before we go to Q&A, we want to hear one or two words from you. Thanks so much. Good to have you on here. Prof? Yes. Uh, um, just a second. I want to uh, resolve a conflict. Just a second, please. My, yes, please. my children are fighting. Please, right, just a second. Yeah, okay. You can go back later. Um, Why we are waiting for others, uh, quickly go on to... Uh, our other items, that is a recent experience sharing from our team members uh, that we are in in Ghana and also in uh, uh, in uh, Ethiopia. Uh, I think Solomon, I don't know who is speaking from uh, Ethiopia experience. Solomon, you are there, right? So please help us with Ethiopian experience. And then uh, while you are doing that, Brenda Lynn gets said to give us that of uh, experience from Ghana. Solomon, please, you have the, you have the stage now. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Professor. Yeah. Thank you. Good evening, uh, from Nigeria. Good evening, Professor. from Abiyakuta. I'm Dr. Solomon Okwade from Chrisland University, Abiyakuta, Nigeria. I am one of the participants at a conference on land policy in Africa. I want to start by appreciating this platform for creating an avenue for researchers, for learners like us to grow. I sincerely want to appreciate Professor Evans. You have really mentored people. You have mentored us and we are proud to be, we are proud of you as our mentor. Yeah, at the conference um, on land policy in Africa, CLP 2023. The conference was sponsored by the um, African Union, African Development Bank, UNE uh, UNECA, and many others. We are about 750 participants were, uh, were there to gather and discuss on issues around land policies and its governance, and how it affects the, uh, the achievement of sustainable development goal, and also how uh, it promotes the implementation of after. So we were there, about 210 papers were presented. Um, it was an avenue to meet other stakeholders, academia, investors, sponsors, policymakers, and traditional leaders. We are all there to, to look at the issue around the land governor and its management. Uh, from Africa um, Scholar Mentorship Network, we presented two papers. One was presented by myself, uh, Climate Change, Land Degradation and Sustainable Development in Africa, Implication for Africa Continental Free Trade Area. And the second one was uh, presented by Dr. Wakil Karakara from Ghana. Uh, the topic of uh, his presentation was Forms of Land Ownership, and gender disparity in agricultural value chain in West Africa, empirical insights from smallholder farmers in Côte d'Ivoire and Nigeria. 
It was also an avenue for us to promote African Scholar Mentorship Network, where we met people, we discussed about how we got to know about the conference, and we are proud to tell them we got to know about this conference from African Scholar Mentorship Network, uh, chaired by Professor Evans Osabwen, and about out of our people that came from Nigeria, about 15 that we met together, at least all of them have, um, have received um, the link to join the network, and some of them have already joined the network. They were also eager to join the network. Uh, the conference created an avenue for us also to network among the researchers that we met. We have started uh, uh, talking about other areas that we can, other problems that we can solve in Africa through the, that conference. Um, we also, at the height of it, we also met with African Scholar um, Mentorship Network members from Ethiopia. We have uh, Dr. Konjit hosted us. She took us around, um, around the uh, city of Addis. She hosted us and she did not even release us well without everything launched with her. We, we, how would this possible if not for this uh, scholar mentorship program? We really appreciate we appreciate the effort of our leaders, uh, the team leads. Let us continue to uh, you know utilize this opportunity and gain more insight. We really appreciate what Professor um, has started is an avenue for us to learn more and to collaborate further. After the series 1.0, that was where we got to know about the conference and we started talking about what to submit and how to submit it. And there were, we, form, uh, it, we form a team. Uh, the team, I want to also appreciate Dr. Joe. Uh, he, he has also done very well for us in that, in that team. And other and those of others like that, we appreciate everybody. So those are the issues that we uh, yeah. discussed at the conference. Thank you so much, sir, Thank for this so opportunity. Uh, uh, Solomon and your team, Solomon, uh, Karakara, and also uh, Konjit for that. So it's the joy that uh, if you go to any country, you can locate in your any African club. Yes, sir. Prof, yes, please, sir. Uh, we want to help us appreciate Dr. Konjit. She really did yeah. very well for us. Thank you, sir. Please. 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 Thank you so much. He's a member of the network. She should be here. Yeah, while you are talking, uh, one of our um, advisory members, Professor Lisk uh, Franklin from Warwick, University of Warwick, uh, joined us. So, Prof, you have the floor to give your experience as a father. No, you are muted, sir. Prof, you are muted. Yes, you are muted, sir. Prof. Prof, on mute, so we can hear you. Let me see if I can. Uh... Hello, Prof. Yeah. Uh, okay. We should be hearing about it like uh, I don't know why we cannot hear you. Uh, Prof, uh, we cannot hear you, but I think uh, Frank. Yes, it's a bit. No, Prof, you are, you are muted. Let me see. Uh, no, I think your sister, Prof. You are meeting us now. We can see you, but your mic is not on. Your mic is not on. Your microphone is not on. Can you on it? On your be meet. Just click the microphone to on it. The mic is muted, so you can try and unmute it. Yes, it's on. I was able to hear you. No, we can't hear you, but maybe. Uh, you are talking, but we cannot hear you. Your mic is not. I don't know why it's not. Can somebody hear, Prof? I don't know that's my, from my end or from somewhere else. 
Yeah, but he's not muted. I think, so. I think this is from Prof. It's on Prof side. Yes. Okay, Prof. Maybe we can, if we can, if we can restart, if we can refresh your browser and see uh, whether that will be better. Okay. Why is trying to do that? Uh, Asongo, are you said? Asongo is another board, advisory board member. Yes, I am, Prof. Okay, and if you can on your video, so I can see your face from back. You know, My way. goodness, Lord. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're in the place, you can add your Okay, it's okay. Okay, go ahead, sir. Well, um, uh, thank you very much for um, the opportunity to you know participate once more. Uh, I extend the thanks to the very uh, eloquent presentation by the colleague. Uh, I will not recycle all what he has said. I am I very much subscribe to um, all the points. Uh, what I just want to add is that uh, this mentorship series is uh, very much welcome because uh, on the 15th of this month, that is. Uh, about uh, 11 days ago, uh, the highly cited uh, researchers by clearly but that was uh, published uh, for researchers in 2023. Uh, just about 14 or 15 of these researchers are based in Africa. That is of the 7,125 highly cited researchers for 2023, only about 14 are based in Africa. Uh, so uh, it actually substantiates the perspective that there is a market or there's a need for this mentorship series because we have to catch up. If you compare uh, the entire African continent with a small country such as Singapore, where you have over 130 highly cited researchers, then we have a problem, which is really contributing to knowledge by means of scientific uh, publications, not just publishing for the sake of publishing, but uh, publishing articles that are really relevant to uh, 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 and policy syndromes that are specific to um, Africa. So um, I'll always be there to participate in whatever way I can to uh, promote uh, younger researchers and uh, hope that uh, in the 2024 uh, um, list, uh, more Africans will be uh, represented. Hey, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for that feedback and um... That's a revelation, though it's shocking, but we want to believe that uh, together we can do it better. Professor Lisk uh, was on Igadigi's net network, a journey back, okay. Uh, a network had issues, what else would take? So, do you have any question for any of from the, uh, so far, write it, you can write it on the, on the notes in the OB meet, or you can also, if you're on, the, on Facebook, sorry, on the YouTube, you can note it on YouTube. Yeah, Professor Liz, thank you so much. Uh, you are back, but the, your microphone is not on. I wonder whether you can hear us or whether you can speak. Your microphone is not on. It would be better if you can refresh your screen, that would be, if it's possible. While I'm doing that, uh, I think uh, Brenda Lynn is in the house. Brenda Lynn, she will give us a a perspective from the delegation of African Scholars Mentorship Network members that were in um, Ghana for the Maesa Policy Conference that held just same last week here uh, at the University of Ghana, Accra. Yeah, Professor Liz, see whether you can have your mic now. Your mic is off, but is whether you can put it on. Do you hear me now? Fantastic. Wow. It's the miracle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I have not tried. I have been battling with it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Well, I will be brief because I just rushed in. And um, first of all, I want to congratulate Professor Evans on this outstanding venture, the African Scholars Mentorship Network. It's something which was probably long overdue, and I could see that from the series so far, it's having its desired impact. I have listened to a couple of people um, presenting and indicating how the African Scholars Mentorship Network has been influential in getting them to not only become visible in their research, but in terms of going to conferences, presenting their papers, 
network in the mentorship series itself provides a basis beyond just publication, but I understand it extends to grant writing and um, it also supports um, networking and collaboration. I happen to be the academic director for Africa in my university executive office. And this responsibility involves building partnership with African universities between Warwick University, one of the top universities in the UK, and African universities. And as it happens, Covenant is one of our partners, our priority partners in Africa. I've been to Covenant two or three times. I have had a long established relationship with Professor Evans. I rate him very highly. He's an outstanding scholar, but also he's a very good African. He's not just thinking about himself, but he's thinking about giving back and contributing to the development and capacity building of younger scholars. Last week, we launched in my university a pathway program, which I shared with um, Professor Evans, to support Black researchers. Because even in the UK, we do have the problem of underrepresentation of Black researchers in the academic scene, particularly with respect to publication, participation in, um, in international conferences. So we have a deliberate policy based on what the British government calls BAME, that is Black, Asian, and minority ethnic. So we, the, the LSE has a similar program. I also shared that with Professor Evans. So it is the issue of mentorship is not just for Africa. It's a major concern for minority scholars in the UK. And I play a major role in providing mentorship for scholars of African origin and also minority ethnic. I would like to say that um, I was very pleased when I was invited by Professor Evans to join this venture in an advisory capacity. And we, he told me the, the, the history or the story behind the launching of this, which is something which has been in his mind for over a decade. And the fruition of that concern is the Africa Scholars Mentorship Network. I just want to say that in our partnership with Covenant University, which is an official relationship between Warwick and Covenant, we will incorporate elements of the African Scholars Mentorship Network into this partnership. And we will make use of the partnership to engage with um, members of this network and also to extend our mentorship program at Warwick to incorporate the African Scholars Mentorship Network. I'm very passionate about research in Africa. Last week, I was in Lagos for a week at the University of Lagos. There was a major conference organized by the African Research Universities Alliance. There are about 25 public universities, vice chancellors. There were representatives of about five or six major universities in the UK, including Oxford, Warwick, um, Bristol, um, King's College London, the School of Oriental and African Studies. They were all represented by either their vice chancellors or very senior academics. And this indicates the extent and the commitment of scholars, black scholars in UK universities to engage with their African counterparts. For example, um, there is a Nigerian lady who is the vice president of King's College London. She was there, Fumi Oloni Sakin. The current deputy um, of Babe College is also a Nigerian, Kevin Ibe. So there are Africans holding senior positions in academic institutions in the UK. And we are galvanizing and we are getting to form a partnership among ourselves for the purpose of supporting collaboration with African universities. 
So I do welcome this opportunity, and I just want to extend my commitment in addition to congratulating Professor Evan for this outstanding work and for him to know that, uh, well, we have been uh, collaborating with each other for well over five, six years. And I had invited him to come to Warwick. Unfortunately, the pandemic laid that low. All arrangements were made and he was not able to take, take on a visiting um, fellowship, one of our senior visiting fellowship, but I'm hoping that he would come. But I think for me, what is important about mentorship is that one person like myself or Professor Evans should share their knowledge, their skills, and their experience to assist others to progress in their career and to develop confidence in their own ability to achieve. And this is what this program is doing. I have also been involved in interacting with postdocs from Covenant University. And I have given them the opportunity to participate in our programs. And I've joined them in producing joint papers. So I just want you to know through your network that my door is open to you all. And as a member of the advisory group of this African Scholars Mentorship Network, I will always be at your disposal. And do feel free to contact me via Professor Evans. And if there's anything I can do, I will ensure that you enjoy the resources as well as the experience of my institution. So that's all I wanted to say. And thank you, Professor Evans, well, for inviting me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, for those who may not know, uh, his profile is on our website, direct website, and our team. It was a least has over 45 years experience in research, policy advising, and just to make sure that uh, he's a personal friend to Pastor John, and they were contemporaries. Today, you have five years been around. So he's a father and a grandfather. So and he has all the experience and the network. So this is a very good offer. Thank you so much, sir. We, we can't thank you enough for your time. I know you're very busy. We appreciate you and for your words. Also, Pastor, the other one I spoke earlier, Pastor Tibi Tansongu, for those of us who were in the 1.0, he delivered about two series uh, on publication and also on uh, mm. collaboration. He's also a member of our, our advisory board. So uh, his, profile is, his profile is also on our direct website. So thanks so much, Professor Lisk, and thanks so much again, Professor Asungu, for your insight. I don't know whether anybody have a burning issue to raise that we can take a few minutes of Q&A before you know, these, these highly pleased uh, scholars are hard to get. So. Once you get them, we try to maximize the opportunity. If you have any question, please write it on the notes, or you can raise your hand if you have a very sound network. Otherwise, uh, okay, write it on the note. If you're on uh, OBMIT, you have a question. The word has been said so far by Professor Liz, by Daniel Zonas too, by Professor Sibla Songu. I move from what uh, Solomon gave the experience from the Ethiopian outing. If you can have anybody, Otherwise, we come back to that. We just move to the next item on agenda as we welcome uh, Brenda Lynn Beluk. Are you there? Beluk, are you there uh, to give us an uh, experience from the recent uh, African Climate Network uh, participation in my SF conference at Ghana? Brenda Lynn, you have there? Brenda Lynn? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so good evening yeah. to everyone. Good evening, uh, Professor Lynn. Thank you for giving us an open hand, we are grateful. Thank you, Professor Simplis Asong, we have been always uh, present to, to assist this uh, uh, collaboration. Thank you so much, uh, our able Professor Evans, for taking us thus far, for bringing us to the light. We were in Ghana for a two days conference that took place between the 21st to the 22nd of November, Miasa Policy Conference. It was a wonderful time spent together with uh, scholars from all over Africa and the organizers from Germany and other um, uh, collaborators. We had panel sessions, several panel sessions and even poster sessions. I presented on the global value chain participation 
by friends in Cameroon in collaboration with Karakara, who was uh, unavoidably um, absent because he was in Ethiopia by that time. I want to appreciate him for uh, collaborating with me and uh, for his dedication. Uh, during this uh, conference, we had an opportunity, we had the opportunity to interact with so many other young scholars. I was so happy. Uh, I, for one, it was an opportunity for me to have gone outside uh, Cameroon for the very first time. So it, it was really uh, a learning and an a, a exciting moment for me that I had to uh, give back to uh, those who were uh, looking up to me, every movement along uh, the, 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 the uh, you know, from the entry to the port, whatsoever. So, I mean, I, I was very happy uh, and I'm still very happy for, uh, for, 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 the, for what I, I, I got from everything I learned from the interactions, the discussions, the several breaks and the, the reception by the organizers. I really wish to appreciate uh, African Scholar Mentorship Network, the entire team of DIADEC and uh, Professor Evans for this wonderful initiative to uh, keep uh, taking African scholars ahead. We pray for better and uh, more collaborations in the days ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, merci beaucoup, Madam. Uh, thanks so much for that uh, insight. Just to be sure that I know you can see our uh, slide uh, in the two number two of them plus a uh, conduit. The one the picture I'm talking about is a uh, uh, conference, conference of land policy in Africa organized by AFDP, uh, African Development Bank, uh, ECA, United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and also Afri African Union Commission. So this is uh, Solomon, who just spoke earlier. That is Konjit, who was there. It's an Ethiopian who was there to receive them and hosted them so much. This is Karakara, for a Ghanaian, also came for the conference. Then this is the Ghana team that was just uh, presented by uh, Dr. Brenda Lane. So this, this person I'm talking to now is Brenda Lane here, and this is me. So we have other members from that is a uh, BC, this is a uh, Kasala uh, from uh, Liberia, that is, is uh, uh, Soji from Ibada, and that is Colinos from Inilag. And then by the side here is uh, the Musa is in the house, uh, Musa from uh, Gombe, Nigeria. Then this one in blue here is uh, Dr. Ngudu Mavelos, who's a, a Zimbabwean and um, Based in the um, University of Johannesburg, and based in South Africa. Then this one is Romanus, a Nigerian who is currently in the Malaysia for he came from Malaysia for he's in Malaysia for, uh, for postdoc. Then this uh, Betty from Ghana. So that is so much both for the teams. We try to move on now. If there's any question, just to make sure that uh, Brian is the coordinator for Africa's College Mentorship Network for Central Africa. Uh, this. Um, Marvelous is one collective for the Southern Africa region, and Solomon is no, sorry, Karakara is one collective for West Africa region, and uh, yes, that is that. Okay, uh, she is not here. They were for East Africa. Thanks so much. So we are going slowly now to the next phase. Our next, this is the program we're running with. We I just, don't know uh, if I should. Uh, one, two, three. We're here now. Okay, so we now go to testimonial sharing. If, it, if there is any Q and A for the yes, what have been so far, I, whether I from for Professor Lisk or for Aswangu or for anything that is burning your high want to share, we can take a few minutes Q and A. Otherwise, we continue. Like I say, if you're on YouTube, you can place it uh, as comment on YouTube. If you're open it, you can put it as a comment. Uh, on notes on obimit, we will have to take it accordingly. Otherwise, we just uh, make progress. Thank you so much. Our next item now is uh, testimonials from some African Scholars Membership Network members. 
those who were on uh, episode 2.0. Uh, I don't know whether they can, they are, if they are there, you can share it yourself directly. Otherwise, we will read the one we collated. So I'm going to okay. share that now. We, if I just to mention before, uh, this is, okay. We had uh, close to 44 uh, written testimonials. And you agree that I would think that it's not possible to give uh, the 44 uh, persons time to share. What we do was just to uh, collate for a few of them, and then we share that. So I will off my my camera now so that it can be big. So if no, if your if your name is there and you are in the house, you can let us know. You can take it yourself. Otherwise, I will call on. Uh, one of our team members who is helping our admin and HR to read them out. The first person is on the from Shalom Erud. So over to you. Yeah, good evening, everyone. The first testimony is from Shalom Erud from Delta State University, Abraka, Nigeria. So he said the ASMN series 2.0 has been wow. It has changed and still changing my horizon. Sincerely speaking, my crude ways of doing things are phasing out for more sophisticated and contemporary by and by. Proud to this time, I have the mindset of being a lone ranger, but with the recent teachings from exercises, I have accommodated the need for a strong partnership, knowing fully well that organized individual with team equals high level impact. I have learned quite a lot from how to write a good proposal and to get funds and grants from organization. In submission, I wish to express my profound gratitude to the organizers, co-founders of this great idea, judged towards the betterment of humanity vis-a-vis -vis education. That's a testimony from wow, Shalom Erudy. The second is from Shegun Aderi Bigbe from Wesley University Ondo, Ondo State, Nigeria. And he says he has learned how to frame internationally acceptable title, which is now known, and how to acquire a grant is known to him now. How to publish in Scopus journals also, he has learned that as well. And lastly, the training has restored my last my lost confidence. Wow. He that's, said so. The third one is Deborah from Deborah Agene. Yeah. Yeah. Deborah, you want to share yourself? Right, go on. This here. third one is from Deborah Agene from the University of Abuja. And she says, Series 2.0 has been nothing short but impactful. I thought Series 1.0 was it, not knowing it was just the tips of the iceberg. Since the commencement of this of Series 2.0, my knowledge of research has dived deeper. I learned a lot all through the episodes so far in Series 2.0, from relevance of mentorship, the why, what, and how questions of proposal writing and winning. The hallmark for me was episode three on insiders' perspectives and publishing in reputable journals. This episode contains a lot that personally impacted me. Also, the research pyramid by Professor Evans, and to cap it all was the testimonial of the guest speaker on how he was men mentored by Professor Evans this really made me realize that the place of mentorship in one's career is not something to be toiled with on or negotiable. I really want to say a very big thank you to Professor Evans for his heart of humanity and his entire team. If this is to be paid for, I then wondered if some of us could have, could have this privilege. This indeed is a place to be. Hashtag ASMN. This is from Deborah again. The next one is from Anthony Anthony Ibe, British Canadian University, Obudu. 
And he says, this series has impacted so much in my life academically and increased my results skills, my research skills, pardon. I have been exposed to many things I had very little idea about. This program has also increased my visibility in the research world. I have improved in my confidence in organizing articles for publication. I believe that with more practice, I will improve greatly. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. We see the last one. And that one is from Uluwayemisi Adeleke, Redeemers University, here in Nigeria. I want to say a big thank you to the organizers of this lecture series, particularly Professor Evans and his team members. This training is very timely and well delivered. I wish I had this training and networking at the beginning of my academic career. I learned so much during this training and had new collaborations with great scholars. I advise anyone undertaking a postgraduate program or looking at a career in research to key into the African Scholarship Mentorship Program and Diadec to have a solid foundation where they can start their career with mentors and learn a great deal in the process. Hashtag ASMN, hashtag Diadec. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Well. Kwara State University, Malete, Kwara State, Nigeria. Before the commencement of this program, my expectations were, one, to broaden my scope of research outputs, two, to know the secret of publishing in Q1 journal outlets, three, why are papers rejected by international journals, and four, to acquire skills in attracting grants. And so at the start of this program, of this training program, I was focused on two aspects, publications and grantsmanship. I'm glad I got what I needed to proceed in my research outputs around my expertise. Sincerely, this program is worth 100k subscription. Doing it free for us is mind-blowing and I wasn't ready to miss it. Professor Evans and Diadek family for this palliative performance in mentoring future scholars. Kudos and well done. It Thank can only get better. Jumokesh Sohe, Library Officer, University of Ibadan. I need to write and submit as many grant proposals as I can. If one fails, another will be successful. I need to collaborate with every stakeholders to achieve success. Thank you so much, Jumokesh. Nora Inyang, University of Uyo. I need to have specific measurable, achievable milestones and work towards actualizing them. Grant is given to support a purpose and problem. Perseverance is needed in order to get it. So I need to apply for many grants to increase my likelihood of getting one. I need to anticipate possible constraints and strive to circumvent them. Thank you That's so our testimony. Yeah, we have Onyi Damola Adeyemo, British Canadian University. I got a job opportunity via ASMN platform. My boss got an international role via ASMN platform. My research skill upskilled improved and became better such that I can confidently contribute among my colleagues. Wow, thank That's you so much. Good. Good one. Uh... Moye Emina, University of Ibadan. ASMN Series 2.0 opened my eyes to the different stages, obstacles, and sacrifices one must make in order to have a good research grant and work. The exercises also helped me in staying updated with different topics presented by different speakers. Thank you so much. Uh, Next, we have a... Uh... Amao, National Horticultural Research 
Institute Ibadan. This topic on collaboration and partnerships is highly directed at me as I really need to build my social capital to network well with colleagues whenever I have the opportunity to do so. When I attend conferences, I find it difficult to network. I move with only known researchers or colleagues with or colleagues. This hasn't helped me in collaboration. This episode has enlightened me on the need and how to ensure that I improve on my social capital to achieve adequate collaboration with other researchers. Great. Thank you so much. Next is uh, Solomon. Solomon Okwadeh, Chris yes. Land University, Abiyokta, Nigeria. Can research journey so far. I have attended numerous workshops, seminars, and conferences. However, my research career, ex my research career experienced a turnaround immediately after I joined African Scholars Mentorship Network Series 1.0 sponsored by the PECOS Institutions and Development Research Center, DEADEC, Nigeria. In my sub-team, we have been able to submit our abstracts and concept notes for international conferences. To the glory of God, I will be presenting one of our research outputs at the 2023 conference on land policy in Africa, 2023 CLPA at Africa Union headquarters, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The conference is fully funded and my first international conference beyond the shore of Nigeria. The Conference on Land Policy in Africa is organized by Biennale, by the African Land Policy Center, a joint initiative of the African Union Communion Commission, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, and the African Development Bank. Wow, thank you so much. Next one, we have it here. Omobolanle Adegbola, Taishalari University of Education. The series two of the ASMN has enlightened me so much about the world of research, collaboration, and networking. I am confident that I will represent the organization well and perform better on research going forward. Wow, fantastic. Uh, that's a good one. Thank you so much. Our information shortly that we have a program with uh, Taswex shortly. Uh, great, let's go on to the next one. Joan Ozo, Nam Jazikwe University. This is a very good networking. I have learned a lot since I joined this group. Learning in terms of research, collaboration, networking, etc promised myself that I'm going to publish in High Impact Journal come 2024, and I will share the testimony here by His Grace. This platform has opened my eyes to many issues I did not know before, especially in terms of research. Wow, thank you so much, Joan. Next one we have... Uh, uh, Richard uh, yeah. Uge. It was a whole lot of enlightenment. I acquired knowledge of how to achieve targets and at the appropriate time. I learned about the benefits of a teamwork, achieving through collaboration and sharing of responsibilities. Thank you so much for moving forward. Let's have a... Obafemi Awolowo University, Lefe, Nigeria. The Nigerian Scholars Mentorship Network has been a game changer for me. Through the program, I have gained invaluable skills and knowledge writing, scientific writing, and networking. I've been able to connect with scholars and professionals from around the world, which has opened up new opportunities for collaboration and career growth. I am so grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this program. I would highly recommend it to anyone looking to take their career to the next level. Wow, thank you so much for making good progress. Next, we have uh... Israel Adedeji, Federal College of Education, Zamfara State. My experience has been wonderful. I have gained more knowledge on what makes high impact journals 
components of writing acceptable manuscript in high impact journal, the need for collaboration and partnership. I suggest more of this training periodically. Well, thank you so much, Ness. I did I at DBC, above me, all over University Life in Nigeria. ASNM Series 2.0 has so far been a transformative experience for me, offering not just theoretical knowledge, but practical tools for success in an academic career. The emphasis on mentorship, collaboration, and the intricacies of publishing in high-impact journals has, without doubt, shaped my perspective about research. Additionally, the series has been a catalyst for growth for me, I believe for other participants as well. And I am grateful for the opportunity to belong to this community that is dedicated to advancing scholarly endeavors. Thank you, sir, Professor Evans. Thank you so much, Daniel. Then you have a... Esosa Obadiaro, Landmark University. ASMN is an eye-opener as the discussions are focused on the nitty-gritty of grantsmanship. The facilitators delivered smoothly with practical examples that, so, that, spots, that spotlights the whys of the do's and don'ts. My sincere appreciation goes to Professor Evans for the great effort he has put in to raise younger researchers. Thank you, sir, and God bless. Thank you, Sam. Let's go. Next, you have a... Abiola Olarinri, Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Bomosho. My orientation has changed greatly from being a lazy person when it comes to writing high-impact research papers. I learned that I should be determined to look for collaborations that can project me into the larger world by consulting and be ready to heed to corrections. Thank you so much. Let's have a Ajibola Ayodeji, MS Economics, Nigeria. ASMN has enlightened me as an early researcher of several things involved in carrying out an award winning research. In the series, in the series four, I also learned that adding value and depositing in one's value bank account will help greatly when the need arises to withdraw from that account. Mm -hmm. No one grows in isolation. Collaboration, partnership, building network, and most importantly, God is required for growth and continual relevance. It's a blessing and value addition joining this network. Finally, I would like to appreciate Professor Evans for this great opportunity and the entire team for contributing to building lives and adding value in Africa and the world at large. Thanks, and God bless your labor of love in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Victoria Isheko, Center for Learning Resources, Covenant University. I was motivated to have, to have, to have clearly defined career shots, mid-term and long-term goals. I realized I hadn't been attending conferences and I had only presented an online conference paper during the duration of my career. I was challenged, encouraged, and highly motivated by Professor Evans' goals about each year. He said he plans to attend three conferences and workshop. So I decided to write mine and start working at it. Wow. To my utmost delight, the director approved and supported many of us and I personally presented a paper and asked questions at the conference. It was my first time to speak up in such academic gathering, and I was truly pleased with my efforts at personal wow. development. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. I'm going to get Brenda Lynn Bello, K University of, of Boa. The need for social capital to enhance networks and reach out that will add value to academics and Thank research so endeavors. Much. That's Belinda that gave a testimony on the team that went to Ghana. Thank you so much. I'll uh, we'll move on now. I'll tell you now, Sin. 
Clinton Obina Ogweke, African Rice Center, Kenya. The main impact of ASMN Series 2.0 on my professional and personal growth has been profound. The mentorship and guidance provided by experienced scholars and professionals have been instrumental in shaping my perspective and aspirations. The networking opportunities opened doors to collaborations I never thought possible, ultimately enhancing my academic and career prospects. ASMN Series 2.0 has truly been a game changer for me. The lessons I've learned throughout this series have been invaluable. I gained insights into diverse research methodologies, presentation, and the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration. The sessions were not only informative, but also inspiring, motivating me to explore new horizons in my field of study. I have also learned the significance of giving back to the community by mentoring and supporting by mentoring and supporting the next generation of scholars. Wow, thank you so much. Next we have uh... Melkamu Hodofa Sigaye, Ethiopian Institute of Agricultural Research. The series 2.0 of OSMN was an incredibly impactful experience that provided me with valuable insights and knowledge on various topics related to scholarly research. The sessions were well organized and the speakers were highly knowledgeable and engaging. I particularly appreciated the opportunities for networking and collaboration with other participants and mentors, which helps me to expand my professional network and gain new perspective on my research. Overall, the series has helped me to develop new skills and approaches that I can apply to my work, and I would highly recommend it to other scholars looking to enhance their research skills. Wow, let's almost approach the end of this testimonial. Let's grab uh... Agnes Boniface, AII Tanzania. Being part of AS. MN series, I have gained useful experience on high impact journal. I learned the importance of reading materials from this journal and publishing. As part, as part, I do learn that by being used with this high impact can develop useful network for writing and publishing. This experience will end raise Africa research capabilities. The individual can partner and establish co collaboration with different institutional institutions. This learning platform assisted me to gain knowledge on the proper way for writing successful grants proposals. The training was good and easy to follow for the interested individuals like me. I wish to work and extend my network and collaborations Thanks very much for this use, for yeah, this so use much. of platform and followership. I, I don't. Okay, thanks so much. Next one. Thank you so much. Ramadani Mirjani, the University of Dodoma, Tanzania. Education is critical to achieving the sustainable development the African we want, and educational institutions at all levels are powerfully positioned to operationalize sustainability across society. The Continental Initiative, like KSMN series, provide a much needed a research coaching and mentorship platform. Using a GROW model, every session started with a specific G goal, arrow for reality, where we are, what is the actual situation or option, what should be done and W way forward, what should be done. By and large, the ASMN series 2.0 has been a lighthouse for quality research and publication in my career. This short intellectual work we took together with Professor Saboye and colleagues was not only a pleasure, 
but also a privilege to me. I feel privileged to have been your protege. I promise you that I will continue using the knowledge and skills gained from ASMN series to improve the world because that is our ultimate driver as social scientists and teachers. Wow, what a nice to end this series. Thank you so much. Uh, that, that is our head of our team for the wonderful uh, reading of the testimonials. Uh, yeah, okay, that is all for the testimonials. Like I mentioned earlier, it was not, we received about 44 submissions and um, you're not go out time, we're not able to take all of the 44. So what we, what we did was to select some of them and then uh, have that. But in case anybody have a very burning thing to share, uh, we have a few minutes, you can raise your hand or write it on the note or on the comment, we can, we, we can acknowledge you, okay? Otherwise, you can also write it on the YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you can write it on YouTube. We have some minutes to stay for that. Our next, uh, let me go to our program. Our next one is uh, um, our next assignment we have uh, is uh, to tell us uh, our next item for the next year. We are about to start the new year. And just to make sure that that day came to be was, if you go to our website about us, you will see it. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen now, but I'm on a program. We are now taking in, we've taken the next one now. So I want to take, we'll take uh, plans ahead. I don't know whether uh, my team member Judith is in the house. She can, Judith, are you there? Judith, I know you are there. Okay. Are you there? Can you speak up? Judith? Yes, I'm here. Yes, sir. Yeah, you have been Go So you have the floor now to give us some insight, uh, plan ahead. The guy that with with uh, Tashuet, all as you are funding, uh, and other ideas, all as other program for the, for that. Like you have the next uh, five minutes. I will come up to top up after you are done. You have the floor now. If what, I can, okay, somebody's hand is up. I will bring you later. Let me see. I will bring you later. I will okay. uh, But let's hear from Judith. But after Judith, we cannot take some other. Yes, Judith, you have this space. I don't want to say the floor. You want to use your, your you want to on your video, you can, on your video so you can see. Otherwise, you can, you can go ahead. Okay, because of the network, um, let me just um, let me go ahead. Thank you. I'll be very, very pleased about that. So, I want to start by appreciating our um, lead, Professor Evans. Just like somebody said, if it is all easier to pay for this, um, I don't know how much um, I pay for that. So, um, one of the companies, uh, one of the workshops I attended, I'm not, uh, somebody said that the only recommendation I would see is just for me to. So, um, this is a commitment to prepare ahead um, next year. Next year, 2020 is enriching. So, then they say that the latter shall be greater than the former. So, we are, the direct team are really planning, um, we're really planning something um, very great for all of us next year. I don't know if we have seen the flyer for um, the program coming up in, in February. Is one of the earliest um, programs we have. We are actually planning for a physical meeting or physical workshop next February with the um, Thai Solar University of Education. And you can attest that experiences at physical meetups and at virtual meetups, there are, you know, there are, there are pros and cons. So we are trying to see how we can converge. In um, in Tashalari University, okay. as time goes on, the flyer will be shared. And then um, we have also been working behind the scenes, um, you know, to foster some partnerships um, locally and internationally.
personally. So um, because of time, we won't have time to go through all of them because we also have to make for other people to talk. So um, I'll just end by saying that um, if, as a member of this great um, scholarly um, network, the best you can actually um, network. I don't know how many of us are not yet still in any of the groups, you know, any of the research groups. A lot is going on there. A lot is going on. A lot Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Judith. Judith, that Judith is our head of uh, partnership and collaboration. You can get her details on our on our website under Meet Our Team Members. Okay. Uh, just so before I, I call on the person's hand who is up, uh, this that this uh, event it will be our very first physical event we are hosting together with. Uh, Tarsha Lara University of Education Tarsha to be short in uh, Jebu Deogun State, and uh, I can see in the poster uh, the VC of the university has approved that. And working together with the director of uh, personal relations and um, uh, linkages and other members of uh, African collaboration network in that place. Uh, the fact is that we are announcing it ahead of time. This is uh, November, so you have uh, November, December, January to prepare. And if you go to our event page on our platform, uh, you see the link is already the, the event is already published there. Uh, details will be sharing on our social media platform and also on our WhatsApp group. So let's prepare ahead of it. And there are many packages which will cover what we are doing now, but much more so other areas like um, data analysis, quantitative, qualitative data analysis will be there, and also other areas like how to. Uh, showcase your policy research, like uh, how to write a compelling um, policy brief that we can communicate to stakeholders. We will also be treated much more so how to do reference manage, uh, how to use the reference managers to do your reference instead of uh, doing a manual. We'll be treated and a lot, a lot more. So let's prepare for that. And it will be a very big event. And we want to make sure it's already discounted, as you can see on the flag. The flag will be on our uh, platform shortly. And we want to make sure that. Uh, you can do the registration as, as soon as possible. So details will be follow up. Just to give us a, a pep on that. Let's get prepared. We have almost like three months to get set. I want the joy to meet all of us live uh, in Ijebo um, Day, uh, August State, Nigeria, next February. The date are uh, 16th and uh, I think 15th and 16th of uh, February, the Thursday and Friday of February, mid February. So let's Plans towards it, and uh, to be glad to see all of you there. Oh, details will follow on, on for time. I will stop there now. Yes, Madam, uh, I think Doctor Yemisi yeah, Adelik. I think I saw your hand up. Are you there? I saw one hand up just now. Okay, but you, let's take a few questions. If you have any question now? Uh, a few questions. Before we go to the next item, which is uh, to present certificate to those who met the requirement. Uh, anybody want to make a comment, quick one, contribution, question? Uh, otherwise, uh, I will move on to the next uh, item. I saw somebody asked before. Yeah. Well, good anybody? evening. Yeah, who is speaking, please? Let's hear you. This is Oluwai, Mr. Adeleke. Great. If you can show your face, that would be otherwise, don't worry. But if you can show your face, that would be great. Okay. Thank you so much. Good evening, Prof. Good evening, everyone. Um, I joined um, the, this um, training, I think, when um, it's about Series 3, and I've learned so much. But what I want to say this night is that um, I never knew that uh, mentorship and access could go a long way in a researcher's life. 
Um, in my group, we decided to work on something, myself and Dr. Judith and some others. And we hit a block. We could not move forward. And I got across to you, Prof, if you can remember, and you told me to meet up with um, Dr. Romanos and Dr. Okwade. And, you know, sometimes when people refer you to someone, you feel like, well, this person, give me this um, energy. You understand what I need. But I, I was wild when I reached out to them. They gave me access. They put me through. In fact, what I did not believe that I could do, they told me the easy way in which we could do it. And I could, and as I'm telling you now, myself, Dr. Judith, and some others, you have finished a paper. We just need to put it together and just submit it. So, in, in fact, I want to say a big thank you to Dr. Romanos, Dr. Okwade. When I send it to them, they just tell me, this is what you should do. This is what, that is access. And every researcher needs that. Because, you know, when you're doing something that no one has done, as in, you have not done before, and you have someone to say, oh, this is the way to go. But I think that is fantastic. I just want to say I appreciate them, and I appreciate them for their time and their mentorship. And God will keep blessing them. Thank you so much, ASMN. We appreciate you greatly. Oh, thank you, Madam. Thank you so much. Romanus, you're in the house. Thank you so much for stepping in. And Kwande, uh, who spoke earlier, just to make sure that the Romanus is uh, the team lead for publication for Diadec. Why are the team lead for research for that? Like, so whatever I say, meet them. Uh, whatever I can do, they can do. But um, like uh, somebody asked so I was, I think it was, it was in Morocco or Ghana. Somebody was asking me, uh, bro, why are you doing all of this one? Who is paying you actually? What was your, what is your ultimate goal? What is, what is, what is pushing you? And I told the person that uh, I think my answer was very brief. I want to see more of me in many others. In other words, I want to replicate myself in others. And that's why I think this testimony that she, uh, I mean, this um, feedback from a lawyer MC is is key. What I couldn't do because of time, uh, team members did that fast. So all those, yeah, for me, I, I feel grateful to God for the wisdom and the, the team. And if you go to our platform, I will share it shortly when I appreciate our team members. It's not only me. There are many, many of me walking behind the scene. Or many of me walking behind the scene, uh, quite day. Romanus, even the technical team of me the scene. Now we are streaming on, on uh, YouTube. There are many people working behind the scene, the, the technical, all of them. And most of them are working on volunteer basis because that is just starting. So just, we started this in, in May. That they could just register uh, in Nigeria in just uh, March. So that is like uh, less than about six months old, but see what God is doing. Uh, so thank you so much for that feedback. It's much more appreciated. We want more of that. And like Judith mentioned earlier, our team members handling the uh, media and publicity will reach out to all of us so we can share our experience much more. We want to we'll get the published on our, either our website also on our social media and then so that we can have that recorded. The world, let the world know that uh, in Africa this can work. And the challenge that uh, was as somewhat true to us, let's not forget that uh, out of the, I think, how many thousand of uh, highly cited uh, uh, in Africa in 2023. I don't know how many, I think uh, many uh, numbers were in Africa. And the ones in uh, Singapore were more than the whole of Africa. Uh, so for me, this team, as we keep building momentum, we're able to uh, cover that ground. And just to mention this thing, uh, this one lastly, one of the things that also motivated me was that uh, I was in a conference in one of the G7 countries. I won't call the name of the country. And somebody was making a presentation. I don't know whether it was sarcastically said or it was a uh, and he referred Africa to a download continent. But for me, I felt bad in that conference, but I learned a lot. That in, that world, in Africa, what they do in Africa is download, 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 don't upload. So I told myself personally, I want to be part of those who will increase the upload from Africa so we can upload content. And that has been my passion. Uh, together, when I came back from my postdoc, I've established two centers in, in my university, called university, SEPDAF, and also ROC Ogo. All of them have their web website that are functional that we you know, that we use for 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 rack, rack, racking. And also I have, uh, have my own personal website. I also have this direct website. What all of the aim is to see let's increase the upload from Africa. So Africa can no longer be said to be a download country continent. Thank you so much once again for that feedback. We if there's no more question now we go to next one which is uh uh certificate position before then i will quickly just we are seeing the next year item uh program by god's grace this 
online bootcamp will continue. Maybe uh, we have, uh, I just mentioned this uh, physical event in, this will be our focus for first quarter of 2024, the workshop in conjunction with uh, Tassuet, if that is our main focus for 24, of course, other issues like uh, writing of grants, or proposal submission will be gone. And please, like uh, Judith mentioned uh, just now, if you are not in any team, please ensure you belong to a team and be active because a time will come, uh, uh, different will be clear. Uh, collaborate with them. Uh, they are, each team has about uh, at least two uh, two members of our team that are there and also uh, volunteer leaders and there. So let's collaborate with them more then. So that so this be our major focus for first quarter this event. Then from second quarter we have our series two point zero three point zero. Third quarter we hope to have a four point zero. Fourth quarter we hope to have a five point zero. And of course also working on the, how we can put some of our courses online to be like a self paced course. You take the course online and then you take the, the exercises. If you are done, we issue certificates. And of course, there'll be time to have a physical uh, virtual meeting like this to uh, towards the end of that uh, 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 course. And then much more, we want to have uh, so uh, now I'm not growing as little my check. In 1.0, we had about 250 persons trained. This 3.0 now, we have 2.0, we have uh, close one I check last time, close to 200, 380 participants. So, but we want to be sure that everybody's active. So, we next we want to have a kind of Premium membership, those who are kind of uh, upscale membership members will give us details later on. And then we talk more on uh, uh, partnership, collaboration, and uh, for the next year, I think we we'll to take it further. Okay, before I go, let's go to certificate. Uh, before I present uh, my last uh, position, certificate is our next. Uh, so uh, I think it's here now. Yes. Uh, Okay, and before we start calling the names by our head of admin, I want to mention that uh, the, the names so called for certificate position are the ones that finish the required exercises as at uh, November 20, I mean, November, November 20, 20, 20, 20, November 2023, which is the timeline for exercises. So, in case your name was not mentioned and you have finished it, maybe you didn't finish it as at one June. Otherwise, this I want to have now. Of course, uh, if you have any questions, we can take that on. I know some of them try to finish their own, the only we should have. So this is to present to them, and they will call them quickly. And then from Monday, our team will take over to send to you by email each of your certificates. So we have about uh, many of them. Let's run through. So uh, head of admin, please quickly let's run. Uh, the names. Okay, the first thing we have here is Abiodun Additional Ulubiton. Great. Round of applause. Yeah, yeah. Next one. The next one, Abiola Olarinri. Next. The third. Adamu Jibri. 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 Thank you so much. Great. Next, we have uh, Adebayo Wasiu. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Next one. Adedayo Adebisi. Oh, thank you so much. Moving next. Agnes Boniface. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Ness. Ajibola Ayodeji. Wow, oh, thank you boys. Ness. Uh... Anthony Ibe. Wow, oh, thank you boys, Ness. Wow. Aman Fredris Akba. Aman Fredgers. 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 Aman
Busayo Adirum. Oh, thank you so much. We'll move us next. Charity, we are a Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Then next, we have a. Jine Yemba Lydia Isioma. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, you are next. Chukwedo Oburata. Chukwedo Oburata. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, let me focus. David O. Adekunle. Wow, thank you so much. Yes, let's clap with them digitally or physically. Deborah Agene. Yeah, thank you so much. Next, we have. Do uh, Maxi Victor Vase. Okay, next, this is your answer. Conditions, conditions. Next. Egbe Adewale Odeshi. Thank you so much. Next, we progress. Esiogene Olaifa. Wow, thank you so much, Olaifa. Thank you so much, Conditions, Conditions. Next. Esosa Obadero. Wow, thank you so much. Conditions. Yes. Hilda Kisek. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. To the calling, probably please apologize. Apology for that. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And next, Israel Adewale. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. Joan Wamaka Ozo. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm going to progress. Yes. Mobola Le Adibola. Wow, thank you very much. Yes. Onye Ochuba. Thank you so much. Malicious. Yes. Onye Damola Debo. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm making good progress. 28 now. Yes. Yes, Kola Wale. Thank you so much. Nice. Rachel Oduyemi. Thank you so much. Nice. Rashidat Akonde. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice. Richardson, Kojo, Edeme. Wow, thank you so much, Ness. Yes. Uyojo, Moye, Emina. Thank you so much, Ness. Yes. Ramadan, Marijan. Wow, thank you so much, Ness. Yes. Shalom, Erude. Thank you so much, Ness. Yes. Jude Ophili Ikubo. Wow, Ikubo. Thank you so much. Nice. Mark Jatau. Wow, thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Make it book progress. Nice. Matthew Agba. Wow, thank you so much. Congratulations. Nice. Kojit Gujeta. Kojit. That's the host. Alice for the CFA conference. Thank you so much, Ness. Welcome, Mujik. Thank you so much. Ness. Mugwege, Brenda Lane, Beloki. Beloki, thank you so much. Congratulations. I'll give a Cameroon. Ness, you have a. Nora Ian. Congratulations. Wow, Ness. Be a Julu, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Wow, thanks so much. Yes, you have a. Okay, okay let's take a Daffy Wari. Thank you, my colleagues. Yes. Okumbo, you Joe Femi. Thank you, my colleagues. Yes. Ojo, Okumbo, you. Wow, thank you, my colleagues. Nice. Hello, Familia Bello. Hello, thank you so much. Nice. 
Olusegun Odesola. Yes. Oluwa Emisi Adjat Adeleke. Wow, what's the only with Adeleke as the, the top here? Thank you much, everyone. Like I mentioned, if your name is not called, well, apologies in case we need to tell your name, but for what we did was to compile those who qualify for certificates, which is uh, at least 25% of completing the required uh, exercises. And in case you complete it, of course, before, before the timeline, I know uh, from the last uh, series, we normally get feedback. In case, in case you have done some part, you have not finished. So somebody said, probably I've done two. Uh, I don't waste it. I will give you an opportunity now at the end of uh, November to complete it. So by November 30, we close the window for uh, all the exercises. So for that now, is that is one, two, three, four are still open. Uh, the what uh, the please you want to get the certificate and show you complete your own uh before the end of this month. Uh the, the, the links I uh, see the uh, I think I'll share the before our platform, but these are these are the links. So we took the links, it will take you for one, two, three, four. So in case you are completed some of them, you've not finished. So please the link are there, just uh go over them again and then. Uh, by somebody's already commenting on my platform, I did what it says. Uh, sorry, if we omitted it, I'm, I apologize. I mean, my team member omitted it, but then we tried to be sure that we created from the forms, you No, know, one, two, three, four. And this, in case you have done some part, you've not finished all of them, you have between now and the end of November to do that. By November, by end of November, by, as we say, Happy New Month in December. We close the when the this the the forms for that, but between our November and this, uh, because after now start going to collate again and send to the graphic designer to do that. But then, please, you have the words. And I suppose they have done some part, they've not finished show so that that will not be wasted. Uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, we are now approaching to the end of today. Thank you also. I'm taking a few time because uh, we had the lot of two. Uh, well, next one is to appreciate every one of you for being here and then because imagine that uh, somebody cook food and nobody to come to eat it it will be very difficult i mean i may very hard this happen i want most to i want to appreciate all our facilitators for all the episodes i don't know if you can see my screen much more so uh miss um, claire hoffman who took us on uh, episode two as our guest and there's my brother and friend, Dr. Dr. Stephen Bidunun, who took us uh, in episode three. Thank you so much. And now I wonder about Homer uh, Wogu, the queen of uh, LinkedIn, who gave us that uh, as a researcher, you have to utilize your digital media at your team to, to build up your value capital by creating a value capital account so that uh, you can also should create what you are doing. I much more so my thanks to our partner, two of them here for this series. OBMIT, this platform using by OBMIT has been given to us for free because they believe in what we are doing and they believe in the Africa's development. And the uh, other one is a digital code to give us some financial support to cover up some of our costs. And like I can tell you someone before now, uh, I'll be funding everything myself, which because I believe, I believe in, the, in the passion of this uh, group. Of this uh, vision and much more so to my team members. I want to say thank you, everyone. It's not only me, oh, they have many advances working together behind the scenes. They just click this, 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 to our website. Our team members are uh, working behind the scenes. Uh, thank you so much. So I don't know if you can see my screen. You see now, they are also but was just, was just on now. Our the other board members, Asongu is there, and also, uh. Professor Lisk is there and my mentor that they've been supporting us. So it's about an idea to share with them. I just wrote to them, this is my idea. I do all the things and they give me some supportive idea. If you go to our website, click on their, on their names, you'll see their profile there. And our team members uh, who have been working behind much more so our head of uh, public uh, publicity, uh, Ms. Goodness, Dan Koro, thanks so much. And our wonderful sister, sister, uh, for Larin, who have been working head of a uh, better welfare, thanks so much. 
Our able Judith, our head of um, partnership and collaboration, thanks so much. And my ROA, um, uh, Chibuzo Happiness, will be thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. And uh, our regional coordinators, uh, Dr. Babalos and Gudu, thank you so much. And uh, another one is uh, Belinda Bredalin from Cameroon, our Central Africa coordinator, thank you so much. Our West Africa coordinator, Karakara, thanks so much. Then my big sister from East Africa, Kenya, uh, sorry, in Tanzania, Dr. Nima Kumburu, thank you so much. And more other, others are here, um, Solomon Kwade, who is uh, the team lead for research, and our head of admin, Sufficient, thanks so much. And Roman is, uh, I will not tell you. So there are many others whose name are not here, uh, many others. And, Thanks so much who are working me on the scene. So I want to appreciate you so much for your, for being there, for working with me. Uh, because uh, a tree, they say, can not make a forest. I don't take your time for granted. I mean, a lot of these wonderful people are working with me on volunteer basis because we're not starting. We have plenty of money to, to say this. So thanks so much for your time. We are about to close now. I don't want, I don't know if anybody has any, any bonnet in, bonnet in. Something that's bonnet you, you must see before. We can take that quickly now before we close now. Anybody have a bone issue? Otherwise, uh, we are almost done for today. Well, we showed our our event, our 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 program for next year. Thanks so much. And then, okay, we're about to close now. Uh, let's keep our eye on the, our social media platform, Telegram group, WhatsApp group, and all that to so for updates. Once again, our website. Okay. So I want to now stop sharing. I want to end this live streaming now. Anybody has any bunny, 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 bunny? Okay, I want to end the live streaming now so we can. Uh, yeah, anybody, please. I mean, sorry, bunny, 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 you.